This is going to be quick. I have an ear infection, so I started with the tutorials, and then somehow I landed on this page at Instructables and decided to just go for it with this LED egg night light. Um, so I just followed step by step going back and forth between the instructions and Tinkercad, and I had created um, what would eventually become hopefully a, a night light. And I found that during this process, I was moving a lot of things. And as I went along, I realized um, after doing a couple of other projects that I got a lot better with knowing how to use the duplicate feature, knowing how to align things. So um, I would have done this differently if I could do it over. I did um, get to the point where I had printed, well not printed, I had designed all the elements to print and I could have sent this to a friend um, to print, but it got really complicated towards the end. Um, here you can see my circuit. Um, this is where the, the, the circuit would have been that would have lit up and it sits on the feet. I thought it was a really cool design. I just wasn't sure about implementing it. So instead I went on to this project right here and I created a keychain for the North Carolina Digital Leaders Coaching Network that I'm a part of this year and my friend who's my mentor has a 3D printer and actually printed them for me. And then I decided to um, try and think about creating a monument from the ground up. I'm going to Prague um, in the summer with a group of teachers and I've been really thinking about architecture and STEAM and um, I wondered if it would be possible for students to create a 3D model of a local monument and share that. So I decided to find a picture of the old well at UNC and build it using boxes and cylinders. And so I just went off a photograph and sort of put this together. So I really like that I went from something where I had to go step by step with an instructable to um, something that was actually simpler to something that was completely imagined, no guide whatsoever. Um, and then as you can see here, I am really getting better with the um, alignment features and just being able to undo things and move them around. I would never print this because um, I don't know if the scale is right. And I also realized from a picture afterwards that the old well has eight columns and I built this with six columns. Um, so by the time I finished this though, and it was sort of like my third tinkering around with Tinkercad. I was kind of done and glad to be um, finished with the project. I did enjoy this um, and overall I I think kids would um, too if we gave them a little free reign um, and I think this might be one of the things that um, over time I incorporate with some some free makerspace time and um, I definitely may not print the stuff, you know, save that for our middle schools and high schools that have 3D printers, but at least get kids' appetites wet for designing in 3D. And of course, you know, kids are doing this sort of in a roundabout way with Minecraft, so it's not so far removed from what they do. Um, but, it, but it is interesting to take something from nothing and build it. And I really was kind of proud of my old well, even though it's not accurate.